The PPSH-41 is a Soviet submachine gun designed by Georgi Shpajan as a cheap, reliable, and simplified alternative to the PPD-40. The PPSH is a magazine-fed selective fire submachine gun using an open bolt, blowback action. Made largely of stamped steel, it can be loaded with either a box or drum magazine and fires the 7.62x25mm Tokarev pistol rounds. The PPSH saw extensive combat use during World War II and the Korean War. It was one of the major infantry weapons of the Soviet armed forces during World War II, around 6 million PPSH-41s were manufactured. In the form of the Chinese Type 50 licensed copy, it was still being used by the Viet Cong as late as 1970. According to the 2002 edition of the Encyclopedia of Weapons of World War II the PPSH was still in use with irregular militaries. The impetus for the development of the PPSH came partly from the Winter War against Finland, where the Finnish army employed the Swami KP-31 submachine gun as a highly effective tool for close-quarter fighting in forests and built-up urban areas. A submachine gun, the PPD-40, was subsequently rushed into mass production in 1940, but it was expensive to manufacture both in terms of materials and labor, because it used numerous milled metal parts, particularly its receiver. Shpagin's main idea for cost reduction was to use metal stamping for the production of most parts, that concept was revolutionary in the Soviet Union at the time. Shpagin created a prototype PPSH in September 1940, which also featured a simple gas compensator designed to prevent the muzzle from rising during bursts, this improved shot grouping by about 70% relative to the PPD. The new weapon was produced in a network of factories in Moscow, with high-level local party members made directly responsible for meeting production targets. A few hundred weapons were produced in November 1941 and another 155,000 were made during the next five months. By spring 1942, the PPSH factories were producing roughly 3,000 units a day. Soviet production figures for 1942 indicate that almost 1.5 million units were produced. The PPSH-41 is a classic example of a design adapted for mass production. Its parts could be produced by a relatively unskilled workforce with simple equipment available in an auto repair garage or a tin shop, freeing more skilled workers for other tasks. The PPSH-41 uses 87 components compared to 95 for the PPD-40 and the PPSH could be manufactured with an estimated 5.6 machining hours later revised to 7.3 hours compared with 13.7 hours for the PPD. As standard each PPSH-41 came with two factory-fitted drum magazines that were matched to the weapon with marked serial numbers. If drum magazines were mixed and used with different serial-numbered PPSH-41, a loose fitting could result in poor retention and failure to feed. Drum magazines were superseded by a simpler PPS-42 box-type magazine holding 35 rounds, although an improved drum magazine made from 1mm thick steel was also introduced in 1944. The Soviet Union also experimented with the PPSH-41 in a close air support anti-personnel role, mounting dozens of the submachine guns in forward fuselage racks on the 22SH variant of the Tupolev 22 bomber. More than 5 million PPSH submachine guns were produced by the end of the war. The Soviets would often equip platoons and sometimes entire companies with the weapon, giving them excellent short-range firepower. Thousands more were dropped behind enemy lines in order to equip Soviet partisans to disrupt German supply lines and communications. After the Second World War, the PPSH was supplied in large quantities to Soviet-aligned states and communist guerrilla forces. The weapon was widely used during the Korean War. The Korean People's Army and the Chinese People's Volunteer Army fighting in Korea received massive numbers of the PPSH-41, in addition to the North Korean Type 49 and the Chinese Type 50, which were both licensed copies of the PPSH-41 with small mechanical revisions. The PPSH drum magazine holds 71 rounds. In practice, misfeeding is likely to occur with more than about 65. In addition to feed issues, the drum magazine is slower and more complicated to load with ammunition than the later 35-round box magazine that increasingly supplemented the drum after 1942. While holding fewer rounds, the box magazine does have the advantage of providing a superior hold for the supporting hand. Although the PPSH is equipped with a sliding bolt safety, the weapon's open bolt design still presents a risk of accidental discharge if the gun is dropped on a hard surface, 